Welcome to Season 3, Episode 3 of the Southerners Podcast Teacher Talks, where you can get to know more about your teachers. I'm Sarah Sun. And I'm Rima Zhang. And today we interviewed Miss Hyman, a Spanish teacher here at Great Neck South High. Hi, Miss Hyman. Hi. Thank you for agreeing to do this short interview with us today. We have a few questions for you. So firstly, could you briefly introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Miss Hyman. I am a Spanish teacher here at Great Neck South, and this is my fourth year. And why did you decide to go into Spanish? Like, what was your career like, your college? Um, I actually studied to be a music teacher. So my undergrad is in music education. And when I was graduating from college, I remember one of my professors said, if you're not feeling passionate about teaching music, it's probably not the right thing for you. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to apply for a program um, that one of my friends was applying for in Spain. She had done a study abroad year there, and she heard about this program where you could live in Spain, and it's a grant from the Spanish government, and basically your teacher's assistant in English classes there and help students learn English um, while you work on your Spanish. And so I decided to do that for a year. And then I was loving it so much that one year turned into two and my Spanish got a lot better. And that's kind of when I decided that I wanted to teach, but I wanted to teach Spanish instead of music. So are there any aspects of teaching music that you brought over to Spanish? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know in a good way. I sing a lot during my classes, but it has absolutely nothing to do with Spanish. I just sing whatever um, a normal person would say. And so what made you want to become a teacher in the first place? Honestly, I really don't know. It's just what I can remember always wanting to be. I never had thought about another profession. It just felt like I knew I was going to end up as a teacher. And did you have any experience prior to teaching here at Green Neck? I did. Um, so I did the two years in Spain as a teacher's assistant, but I would really teach the classes when I was there. And then after I moved back from Spain, I taught in Boston for four years at a middle school. And you've been pretty involved in like activities here at South High. So what is it like hosting events like um, Cultural Heritage or Senior Prom? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, they're two different events, but they're so similar in the fact that they bring big groups of people together. And I'm a very um, social person. I really like to be with other people. I think that's what brings a lot of teachers to a school. You like to interact with people and Cultural Heritage Night is such a cool night because I learn so much about my students and their cultures um, and prom is such a fun but also special night where the seniors in the school get to celebrate all the hard work that they've done over the last four years um, and so it's really awesome to be a part of both of those events. Do you feel that your like warm and sociable qualities sort of um, contribute to how you teach here at Great Neck South? Depends on the class. <laughs> Sometimes I would say I try and be warm in all of my classes, but you know, if you ever go into teaching or maybe just whatever workforce you go into, you kind of learn that there are different people that you um, change the way you interact with them so I'm not sure if you asked every single student that I've ever taught if I'm warm uh, what the answer would be but I like to hope that most of my students feel that way um, because at the end of the day for me teaching is about of course my students knowing how to speak Spanish but more than anything teaching for me is about all of us being together and having a place where everybody feels comfortable and everybody feels welcome. So hopefully, yes. <laughs> um, what is your best memory from cultural heritage? Ooh, my best memory from cultural heritage is that my dad actually came to watch last year. And so it was really cool because I had been seeing all of the groups rehearsing and how much time they put into everything. Um, and I was so proud of them that it was really cool to have somebody from my personal life come in and see what I had been seeing and he was just blown away with the performance and it was awesome to be able to share that with him. And you're a great teacher here at South High. Oh, and what you. are some of your like hobbies and pastimes outside of school? Like, I love weekend? to um, read. I'm in a book club and so I spend a lot of my free time reading. 
Um, I really like to be outside whenever I can. I like to walk or I like to go on runs when it's not snowing outside. Um, and I recently just got a puppy. And so I spend a lot of my free time uh, with her, just kind of, we go on long walks or I try and train her. So she's been um, a really fun thing outside of school. I've seen your posts on Instagram, your puppy. She's cute, So right? cute. Yeah, yeah, she's really cute. And I also see you post a lot about, like, to your students, like, messages addressed to your students. Mm -hmm. Do you find that being a teacher, specifically a Spanish teacher, sort of, like, um, is part of your identity, even if you're not in school? Um, yeah, I think so. I think that being a teacher is a lot of who I am, and I definitely think that when I go out into the real world and I'm interacting with people, like a lot of times I get a comment like, oh, you're definitely a teacher. And I think sometimes it's in a good way and sometimes probably not so much. Um, but yes, I would definitely say I love what I do so much that it's hard not to carry it over into my outside of school life. That's amazing. And do you ever have moments where like you speak Spanish outside of school in like a context that is not like conducive to speaking Spanish? Um, to my dog sometimes. <laughs> I don't think she speaks Spanish. I don't think she speaks English like yet either, but we're working on it. So what is your best memory from South High so far? Honestly, I'm just going to give you the one that happened in ninth period today because it was very funny. I don't know if it'll be up there in the top five, but it's the most recent. My students were uh, doing a speaking exam, and so I had one student up here with me at the beginning of the period, and everybody else was doing quiet work. They had headphones in. I told them they could listen to music so that they weren't listening to whoever's doing their speaking exam. And one student had their headphones in and their music was so loud that they turned to ask their friends a question. <laughs> what does sugar mean? <laughs> and it's those moments that we'll n probably not remember exactly what happened, but all of the class just kind of stopped and <laughs> everybody burst out laughing. And it's those little moments that make teaching very fun. And one final question, sure. what is the best thing about being a teacher? The students. I mean, I'm sure you get that answer a lot, <laughs> but I just know I could never work in an office job where I'm not really talking to people all day. Um, and it really is just like, it makes my day go so quickly when I'm able to interact with my students. And especially in a high school setting when you have nine periods a day you're seeing different kids throughout the day and kids that I've taught in years past I see in the hallway and it just always makes me smile to see my students. Okay thank you so much um, we love you too I've heard so many things good things about you and I was your student too so all right. That's all for your interview today um, thank you so much Ms. Hyman um, for your time. Thank you guys. This podcast is brought to you by The Southerner, Great Neck South High's newspaper. It is hosted by Sarah Sun and Lily Wu, directed by Amelia Yao, and edited by Janice Lee.